Each of those flashes can measure 300,000 to 1 million volts of energy. Your household voltage is just 120. This is an example of static electricity. Even a small amount is making my hair stand on end. That feeling can actually be one of the signs that lightning is nearby in a storm. The uh, colors as we get into the yellows and reds indicate the stronger storms, more intense storms. On Sunday in the Whitby area, there were hundreds of lightning strikes symbolized by the dots and clouds on this map. Yet only one anywhere near the park where 17 people were injured. All it takes is one bolt. Lightning actually struck the ground near the tent and then some of that charge spread from the, uh, the point of contact with the ground underneath the tent. And again, metal chair legs and metal table legs helping to conduct some of that charge up out of the ground towards where people would have been congregated. If you're close enough to hear the storm, you're close enough to be in danger even if you think the storm has passed. Lightning can still travel 15, 16, 17 kilometers out the back end of the storm and be deadly. Scientists don't understand exactly why lightning forms. It's the release of a great deal of energy that wants to make it to the ground as quickly as possible. If you see a lightning flash and if you count to five, that means the storm is about eight kilometers away. If lightning strikes and you're within 50 meters, it's not so good. Further than that, then the, the charge is probably dissipated. Lightning has the power to fuse sand into glass and to boil the water in trees so they explode. If it passes through you, it can stop your heart and lead to burns and death. It's going to move from the point of contact quickly down to the ground and it has the potential to, end, to injure every structure that it encounters along the way. Muscle tissue, heart, lungs. If you hear a storm coming, take cover in a solid structure like a house or even a car, not a tree or a tent. If you're nowhere near a shelter, do this. Crouch down on the balls of your feet and cover your ears. You should stay in a shelter until 30 minutes after you've heard the last uh, bit of thunder. Also, when you are inside, avoid using a telephone or a computer or washing dishes or showering during a thunderstorm with lightning, as lightning can hit the plumbing or the electrical system. And if you're driving in a car with rubber tires, is that myth or fact? Uh, actually, well, being in a car because yeah. of the rubber it does ground you. So okay. as long as you stay away from metal surfaces in the car, it actually is a safer place to be than outside. All right. Good to know. Thanks, Beatrice.